What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony with Android Vids and I'm back to do another ROM review for you guys today. Last time I showed you uh, codename Android for the ASUS Transformer. Today, we'll take a look at AOKP. I flash back to AOKP because uh, CNA still had a few bugs some apps wouldn't install for me and I was still getting a few more random reboots than I do on AOKP so here I am it's a really nice ROM and I figured I'd uh, share it with you guys you got the nice little pink unicorn boot animation pretty nifty and there we go Uh, it comes stock with uh, Launcher, which is based off of uh, Trebuchet, CyanogenMod Mod 9. I personally use Apex Launcher, but that's not a part of the ROM, so we won't dig into that. I'll just show you kind of how this stuff uh, in the Launcher zooms back and forth here. And then we'll dig into the settings, show you all the good and juicies. Try to get this zoomed in for you guys as clear as possible. We've got all the standard stuff here. We got Bluetooth, data usage, airplane mode, all that good stuff that you're used to seeing in other ROMs. Um, pretty much all of that on the left hand side is all standard stuff. But, there is the ROM control, and that's what we're going to dig into on here now. Um, we've got general UI options. You can go to the AOKP website, check out the AOKP source, and it's got all the guys responsible for making this awesome ROM. Check them out on Twitter, make sure to send them a little donation if you've got a couple extra bucks in your PayPal account. Let's see, we've got disable boot animation, disable bug mailer, allow 180 rotation, horizontal recent window, and a bunch of miscellaneous stuff here. Show IME switcher, enable volume options, customer carrier, carrier label, hold back to kill, and rotation delay. We've got the navigation bar, menu location, navigation bar color button glow animation, nav button transparency, long press home action, navigation bar width and navigation bar height. Got a bunch of options for the lock screen. Got choose lock screen wallpaper, lock screen text color, lock screen style, you can go stock, quad, octo, or AOSP. I'll show you those in a bit. Uh, menu button to unlock, Wait to lock screen, uh, lock screen battery percentage always persistent, and lock screen weather, which is nice. Volume wake, volume music controls. Um, this even has a calendar for your lock screen. Lock screen, sorry. You can enable it. You can select which calendar you want to see, and you can even set it to view multiple events. Advanced settings, we got enable fast torch. Uh, the transformer doesn't have an LED, so it doesn't apply to us. And custom targets for your lock screen. You can throw custom apps in there if you like. Then we got power menu options. You can make it show screenshot or reboot or whatever else you'd like. Uh, show torch toggle. Again, we don't have a torch. And airplane toggle, that's there too if you like it. Then here's all your weather settings. You'll need to enable it first for your lock screen uh, weather to be able to show up. You can use custom location. You can show your location, change your metric units, and you got a refresh interval and a status bar weather style. Above carrier text, weather panel, and disabled. Then we got some LED options. We got LED pulse on, obviously uh, 
pulse off, LED color, LED flash, wall screen on. None of these apply again because we don't have an LED. Status bar settings, we've got enable USB debugging icon. We've got toggles, you can change the, dis the toggles you want to display. Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, and all that good stuff. Uh, there's one I'm not familiar with. It's Swagger. Uh, we'll check that out here in a bit as well. You got alternate toggles and reset toggles. And then we got clock style. Right clock, center clock, and day of the week. Clock color, enable alarm icon. Got battery icon style, you need text only, icon only, icon with text, icon with centered text, circle mod, which I like, changes it down there. Uh, let's see, we've got battery bar location, you can change where your battery bar is, battery bar style, charging animation, uh, it does say you might want to use this at your own discretion because it could result in a poor user experience. Battery bar color. Battery bar thickness. You can change your signal text style and your signal color. And then we've got some performance. Pretty much like set CPU. You can Scale your governor to interactive, conservative, on demand, user space, or performance. Got free memory, uh, set it boot, scroll and catch, kernel tweaks if supported. We got fast charge, color multipliers, tuning, and color gamma tuning, and startup tweaks. It asks for root access. We can do uh, all sorts of little tweaks here that I'm not really too sure about. Maybe some of you guys in the community will know what they're for. Zip align APKs, enable SD boost, fix permissions, clear catch, enable syscall, and enable schedule tasks. So that's all of our settings. Um, all I can say so far about this ROM is that it's pretty darn nice. There are a few different uh, bugs as far as the keyboard goes. It doesn't uh, have full support for certain buttons, like the uh, disable mouse pad, and, or excuse me, a disable touchpad. The Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, that stuff doesn't work. However, the volume does, as you can see. And all your keys, your typing keys, those are all good to go as well. Um, and that's about all I can think of for now, folks. We got full camera support. I suppose, uh, I thought of one more thing. We do have face lock, which can be set up through security. And face lock, face unlock rather. And it wants to record my face. We're not going to do that right now. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this little quick review. If you guys can think of any more ROMs you'd like to see, be sure to drop me a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. We're only sitting at one subscriber right now. We'd definitely like to see that pick up over the coming weeks and months. Make sure to keep on checking us out on Android Vids, baby.